What's going on all of my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with the ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing decimals. Question 1. 0 0.11 times 0 0.07. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, 0 0.00077, B, 0 0.0077, C, 0 0.077, or D, 0 0.77? And the correct answer is B, 0 0.0077. We first multiply 11 times 7 without the decimals. That is 77. Now we count the number of decimal places in the two numbers being multiplied. There are two decimal places in each number for a total of four decimal places. The correct answer must also have four decimal places. Counting back four decimal places from the right of 77, adding zeros if necessary, and insert a decimal. This gives us the correct answer of 0 0.0077. 227.65 plus 320.4. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, 230.85, B, 259.69, C, 547.69, or D, 548.05? And the correct answer is D, 548.05. Adding up the numbers, be sure to keep the decimal points aligned. Which of the following lists the decimal numbers in the correct order from the largest to the smallest? Is it A, B, C, or D? And the correct answer is A. In the set of numbers, the largest number is 0 0.7. It is the seventh and the tenths place, while the other numbers have zeros in the tenths place. The number 0 0.07 is the next largest number. It is the seventh and the hundredths place, while 0 0.007 and 0 0.0007 have zeros in the hundredths place. The number 0 0.007 is larger than 0 0.0007 making choice A the only correct answer. 12.92 minus 7.6. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, 5.32, B, 5.86, C, 6.32, or D, 6.86? And the correct answer is A, 5.32. We perform subtraction as you normally would, lining up the decimals in the two numbers. That gives us the correct answer of 5.32. 41.1 times 0 0.06. Simplify the expression above, which of the following would be correct? Is it A, 0 0.2466, B, 2.466, C, 24.66, or D, 246.6? And the correct answer is B, 2.466. We first must multiply 411 times 6 without the decimals. That gives us 2,466. Now, we count the number of decimal places in the two numbers being multiplied. There is one decimal in 41.1, and there are two decimals in 0 0.06, which gives us a total of three decimal places. The correct answer must also have three decimal places. We count back three decimal places from the right of 2,466 and insert the decimal, giving us the correct answer, 2.466. Which of the following list of decimal numbers is in the correct order from largest to smallest? Is it choice A, B, C or D? And the correct answer is B. In the set of numbers, the largest number is 7.54. It has a 7 in the tens place and a 5 in the tenths place. The other numbers with 7 in the tens place have smaller numbers in the tenths place. The number 7.24 is the next largest number. It has a 2 in the tenths place while well, 7.04 has a zero in the tenths place. The number 6.97 is the smallest of the four numbers, so B is correct. 0 0.00393 plus 
0.0241. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, 0.00634, B, 0.02803, C, 0.0634, or D, 0.2803? And the correct answer is B, 0.02803. Add the numbers 0.00393 and 0.0241. Be sure to keep the decimal points aligned and you will get the correct answer 0.02803. 72 divided by 0.12. Simplify the expression above which of the following is the correct answer. Is it A, 0.06, B, 6, C, 600, or D, 6,000? And the correct answer is C, 600. We have to first set up our problem, 0.12 divided by 72. Next, for both numbers, we move the decimal points to the right two places. We need to add two zeros to the end of 72, creating 7,200. Now we divide, getting our correct answer, 600. Which of the following lists the decimal numbers in correct order from the smallest to the largest? Is it A, B, C or D? And the correct answer is A. In the set of numbers, the only difference between the numbers is the number in the hundredths place. The numbers in the hundredths place are four, five, six, and seven. So the decimal should be placed in that order. 0 0.0413, 0 0.0513, 0 0.0613, and 0 0.0713, making choice a, the correct answer. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.